These are wire nuts. These are Wago 221 lever nuts. But which one should you use as a homeowner or do-it-yourselfer? Well, stay tuned because that's exactly what we're gonna discuss. Which one's better if either one and which one should you use on your projects around your home? With that said, let's get into it. As you can see, there are plenty of different types of even just the two wire termination methods I'm gonna cover today. Now you have the wire nuts, as you can see here in the back, and there are plenty of different sizes which are rated for different voltages and the amount of conductors that you can put in them. Now also there's plenty of more different types of wire nuts. There are direct burial types, there are wet location types, there are high voltage types. Uh, there are so many, I can't cover them all in this short video. And also with the Wago 221s, as you can see here, I have a five wire connector, so you can put five wires, connect them all together there. There's also a four not shown here. There's a three, a two, and also the butt splice. As you can see, the choices are really almost unlimited on which type of wire termination method you can use as a homeowner in your projects. But the trick is figuring out which one's gonna work best for your needs. For me, these are my two main go-to methods for wire terminations. I typically use the Wago 221s when I need to fit the wires into a busy box or somewhere that has a little bit less space. These Wagos are pretty slim, they're pretty sleek, and you can fit those into tighter spaces. Now, sometimes the wire nuts work perfectly fine. They're a little bit tighter of a connection, and I'm gonna show you a method that I use for my wire nuts, which there's always going to be controversial comments online. So throw your comment in. Let me hear which method you choose more often and we'll go through and see if your methods match mine. Now, when you're choosing your wire nuts, there are different things to consider. The bigger wire nuts, of course, are gonna allow more conductors or bigger conductors. And the smaller wire nuts as you go, of course, are gonna allow less conductors or smaller gauge wires. So you really have to figure out which wire nut is going to work best for your situation. Now with these 14-2 wires from my Romex, I can safely use either one of the orange or the yellow. The next step is figuring out should I pre-twist my copper conductors before using the wire nut? Now, if you read the package, it even says no need to pre-twist your wires. So there is an ongoing debate whether pre-twist is better than not pre-twisting. Now, I get that not pre-twisting is quicker, but is it safer? My opinion is to always pre-twist. And I'll show you why. If you're not pre-twisting your wires, you're leaving all of your mechanical connection up to your wire nut, which I don't like to do because if your wire nut comes off and you're using that to twist them, as you can see, the wires really aren't twisted together. Now, if I were to fully twist with this wire nut, yes, it's going to make a connection, but is it a solid one? My preferred method is to always pre-twist. So I take the time to pre-twist my connection and get that mechanical bond that I'm looking for without the wire nut. That way I'm not relying on the wire nut for my mechanical connection because the main thing when you're doing wire terminations is to make sure you really have a solid wire mechanical connection before you even start with your termination. So now that I've got them pre-twisted, the cap is really just providing a little bit of extra mechanical bonding there and also also, it's providing insulation for the copper underneath. That way it's not coming in contact with any other metal parts and shorting out or causing a fire. Now, a lot of electricians or homeowners do like to put a piece of electrical tape over their cap to the wires just to give it that little bit more security, gives you a little bit more warm fuzzy when pushing it back into the box and that's completely fine. Today, I'm just gonna leave it untaped, but a lot of times I do tape these caps myself. So as you can see, I mean, I can pull with all my force and that's not coming off, but let's just say that this cap does come off somehow in your box. Well, you still got your mechanical connection with your wires without the cap. If you were to not pre-twist, there is a chance that your wires will come apart 
and your mechanical connection on your termination has come undone and you're gonna have a, a non-working circuit. But at least if you've pre-twisted and your cap does come loose, you're still maintaining your electric connection here with your pre-twist. Now this is not the prettiest pre-twist, I will admit that. This is just a short piece of wire. So in the field, this should be much tighter of a mechanical connection. But for demonstration purposes, I think you get the idea. I always like to pre-twist. Comment below, let me know if you pre-twist or you just use the instructions on the box that say, use your wire nut to do your twisting. Okay, here we go. Now the controversial Wago lever clamps. Now, why are these lever clamps or lever nuts so controversial? I think it's because in the US, the method that electricians and homeowners have been using for decades and decades is the wire nut. But the Wago 221s have come on the scene in other push-in type connectors, and it's just not as common. We're not as familiar with them, so they're a little scary. But I'm here to tell you that these things are pretty pretty cool and they're very handy and very quick for your installations and I'll show you why. One thing you may not have realized on these Wago 221s is some of them actually provide a way to test with your red and black leads and you can actually check while they're terminated inside the Wago, you can actually check for continuity. You don't have to break the wire termination or change the mechanical makeup of your wire termination to check it. So some of the Wago 221s actually provide a method for checking without disturbing the mechanical connection. Now, another great thing about the Wago 221s is kind of hard to read, but right there on the side of these 221s, they do tell you the correct voltage and amperage that these Wago 221s are rated for. So right there, it doesn't leave it to guessing. They've put it right on the connector itself. So you know real quick whether it's gonna work for your particular situation. So before you use these Wago 221s, definitely read the side and make sure that it is properly rated for your situation and your needs. So for instance, this two wire Wago 221 is rated for 300 volts or 20 amps. So that will fit my needs here in the US in my residential wiring. On to the fun part. Now electricians are loving these Wago 221s more and more, and that's because they are super fast and easy to use. They lock down and they're securing these wires just as good as a wire nut. So there's no reason you can't use these Wago 221s on the job or at home. Another cool feature of these Wago 221s, and which is why electricians are loving them, is they're super fast. So to use them, you're just gonna pop up the orange levers like so, and then you're going to insert the wires into the barrels. So this is a two barrel. I'm gonna insert my properly stripped wires into the two barrels and slap those levers back down. They lock and I couldn't pull these wires out if I tried my best. Another great thing about these Wago 221s is as you can see, they are see-through. So if you're looking at the back, you can see where your wires have ended up. If you don't like the way they've landed inside your barrels or inside the connector, you can simply pop the orange levers back up and start again, and it's that quick. Okay, super quick. You're simply going to insert the wires into the two barrels, slap your levers down, and that sucker is locked in. Now, the biggest thing when using your Wago 221s is making sure your wires are properly stripped and you're not leaving any kind of bare wires coming out of your connector because, of course, if you have exposed copper that is just ripe for arcing, shorting or a fire, you want the insulation to protrude into your connector, into the barrels a little bit, but you don't want so much insulation where it's also not making a good connection. That is the huge advantage to having the see-through Wago 221s. You can really give it a good inspection just like that. And you're like, okay, I'm happy with that. It is tight. Now it's ready to push back into the wall. Now, one more thing that a lot of people haven't thought of with these Wagos because they are so quick and simple to use. You're ready to shove it back in your box right now. But what I like to do is throw a little bit of electrical tape around the levers. Now, completely unnecessary, but if you've got the time, why not? Because it's giving it that, it's giving us that extra assurance that these levers aren't gonna come popping up inside the box when we're pushing our wires in. 
because they really don't require a lot of force to push back up. And then of course your wires just pop right back out and that's gonna be a huge issue and a safety concern. Here's a little trick that I've learned. After snapping them down, it is locked in, but you don't want those to come up. So what I like to do before I shove these wires back into the workbox is to put a piece of electrical tape around your clamps, around the levers, around the wires. Just give it a wrap. You don't even really need this much tape. Just once around will do the trick. But look at that. Now that you've taped it up like that, there's really almost zero chance if you've properly taped it that this Wago 221 is going to come apart because your levers are now secured down with tape. You could pull this out if you paid me a million dollars. I mean, I think I'd try hard for a million dollars, but right now I can't pull that sucker out. That is one solid connection, friends, and it is super fast, super convenient, and it works just as good as the wire nut. What are your thoughts about this? Throw your thoughts down in the comment. Do you tape your lever nuts or do you just slap them back in the box with no tape and take your chance that the levers won't open back up? So one more thing I thought was pretty cool I'd like to show you is the butt style connector of the Wago 221. Now, I'll show you how to use this real quick it's pretty much the same as the side by side but this is going to be in line so if you're using it in a run or something like that it is a little bit more sleek and it takes up a little bit less real estate side by side and let's just use these slap that down push the other side in slap it down again these are see-through on the back, so you can really see if your insulation and your copper is where you want it before you finish the job. There's no more guesswork when you're using these Wago 221s, which is another reason I really love to use them, is they've made it so convenient where you can see exactly where your wire has landed. And also, like I mentioned before, a lot of them have test holes, so you don't even have to break your mechanical connection to test it out with your red and black meter leads. Now that I've got my levers slapped down, all right, either I didn't eat my Wheaties or these things are really locked in. And honestly, with these butt style Waga 221s, as I pull, these are actually cinching down even more and you can feel them cinch down. Now that's a solid connection. One more thing I would do would be to, again, I like to use my tape. I would tape up my Wago, probably a little bit neater than that, but I would tape it up just so there's no chance that those levers are gonna pop open when you're pushing it back into the box or into the tray. So that's a solid connection. It's taped, it's not going anywhere. I would consider that a pretty dang good wire termination with simple to use mechanical connection that you don't have to worry about your cap coming off or your twist coming undone. Now, again, like I said, every connection has its proper place. There are still times where I'm gonna use my wire nuts over the Wago 221s. And it's just really a preference of the project that I'm on, the room that I have for each different type of mechanical or termination Type. It's really up to you as the electrician or the homeowner to figure out which method you're going to use. And also, like I said, very important to know the rating of your wire connectors, how many volts they are able to handle, and how many wires and what wire gauge they are able to handle. Because the last thing you wanna do is use something like that, a blue small one, this is a 300 volts, only rated for very small wires. And you're trying to jam in a 14.2 or a 12.2 Romex, and it's just not gonna work. The little metal barrel inside the plastic is just not big enough for the bigger wires and that is gonna cause problems and possibly a fire when it falls off and your wires are dangling around, touching everything. Now, again, there are so many different types. There's different brand names, as you can see. Now, these are still Wago 221s, just made by Pepe. These are actually made and delivered by Wago themselves. There are so many different brands and types of connectors that you can get. Now, most of them are going to be UL rated. That's a big thing. You need to make sure they're rated, especially here in the US, so they are legal to use and up to code. So just make sure that you really do your due diligence before you buy or use these products. Know how to use them, know what they're rated for, and just make sure they are the product 
proper choice for the job. Now I'm gonna throw links into the description where you can pick up any of these wire nuts or the Wagos or these Wagos and a couple of different options just so you can see that there are so many different types. You can check them out for yourself. If you click on the links and purchase them, that does support the channel. So I have greatly appreciate it. And with that, I think you can see that there are a multitude of choices that you can use when you're doing your wire terminations for your projects. These are literally just two of the choices that you have out of dozens. Don't take this as an end all be all of methods. These are just a comparison between the wire nuts in the Wago 221s and the pros and cons of each type. Folks, if you found this video valuable, check out this one right here. I know you're gonna love it. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel right here. It does something to the algorithm. I don't know what, but it helps us out so much and I really appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one.